update and information as it the hot. Aku chalunenu o chagwa la chagwa ubejilunenu o jigwa le jigwa uruba uruba uru eba muleke achala boyo ba ebenebe uh, I don't carry enter. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time and where you are listening to us from. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, uh, kindly go ahead and subscribe. I will plead with you all our lovely subscribers. Please, as you watch our video, kindly like and share it to make the video to go viral. Let's go down into the business of the day. Sit at home, a gunman abduct Anambra market leader. <laughs> a gunman don't abduct Anambra market leader over refusal to obey the Monday sit at homes and also the curfew and sit at home that has been declared by the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile. And the man they ask, waiting I do, waiting I do. They tell us, say, Shebi, we say every Monday I sit at home, Una say, Uno, na no one sit at home. Shebi, Una they happy as they still hold Mazi, Nam, the Kano, Ohamadike, one of Ndi Bonile. Now, so they carry the man, oh, <laughs> I hear say, Soludo, Oga Soludo himself. Uh, because some on time in the like come for market, come para then tell them say, hey, come do your business, nothing go happen, nothing go happen. <laughs> I ask the man himself, don't they for hide, you know, see, uh, they don't try look for the man, they know, see him. <laughs> you know, see, any small thing will happen now, Abuja, now in the they travel to, they go just run, piam, enter play now, Abuja, um, <laughs> go there, go hide themselves. <laughs> we think say, now they, they be say, be there. With those boys where they do behave and those boys where they do banditry, we go catch them. That one now for their pocket too. We will go for that information. Some yet to be identified assailants have allegedly abducted the chairman of Mbuka Amaz Market on nature in Anambra State, Chief Enibe Francis, over circumstances said to be related to Monday sit at home. Sources in the market on Tuesday confirmed to our correspondent that the incident happened on Monday shortly after the chairman had opened the market as directed by the Marcus Association in, in the state. It was gathered that the armed hoodlums beat him to stupor after which they bundled him into a waiting vehicle and drove to an unknown destination and his whereabouts are still not known. The state governor, Professor Chukoma Charles Soludo, had directed market leaders in the state to open their markets on Monday by observing prayer section and cleaning the market and drainage. In the past, in the past few weeks, market executive in the state, led by the president of Anambra State Markets Amalgamated Traders Association, Chief Humphrey Anona have been moving around markets across the state on Mondays to monitor and ensure that markets comply with the directive of opening on Mondays. This is to counter the Monday sit-at-home exercise. After the monitoring exercise about three weeks ago, Anona announced the ceiling of no fewer than seven markets after they were found not to have complied with the directive. Confirming the abduction of the market leader to journalists, Anona said he had been briefed and the market executive were making frantic efforts to establish contact with him. He was said to have been whisked away when about five full armed men stormed his shop while shooting indiscriminately into the air, beat him to stupor and dumped him into the boot of their waving SUV vehicles and zoomed off. Effort to get the reaction of the state police spokesperson DSP Tochiku Ikenga proved abortive as calls and messages to his telephone line were not responded to as at the time of filing this report. The Mbuka Amazon market is an old motor spare parts market situated along the heavily deplorable Onicha Oli Road, where vehicles are stuck for several hours in traffic in flood covered ditches. Some of the residents who reacted wondered how the hoodlums were able to whisk the market leader away 
without any resistance. And my people, on another corner bottle, uh, that last comment got my attention. Uh, they wondered how the government were able to whisk uh, that market leader away without any uh, uh, any any intervention. Meanwhile, uh, the governor has promised that he has provided security uh, for the people in that market that nothing will happen, nothing will happen. And you know that's no kabia kabia or kafu chata kafu chata kambo jato kono nyabu emune gede giru watago. And um, you know these um, politicians uh, when they are making their demand, they don't want to know whose art is God's. And sometimes they don't even want to know uh, what is actually uh, going to be the outcome. And then when something happens, uh, it will be on the person's head. Now, this person has been whisked away. Uh, even the, the inspector of police over there, the number is not going. How are they going to contact them uh, for an intervention? And for the, you know, the minutes and hours that this government lasted in the market, no security agents appeared. Of course... Uh, they are protecting their life because even if you be police, my brother, <laughs> now somebody, papa, or somebody, mama, now you be, and you know, say your children, they for house, they wait for you, make papa go, make papa come back, they go say, papa, nata, oh, yo, yo, even if na bread or small biscuits where you buy, uh, they go enjoy. And those days, where would they small? Uh, if our mama go market, they come back, even if nakara. Akara 20 naira those days. Akara 20 naira go full pan. Even if Nakara 20 naira where our mama buy a uh, share and for us, if, or even if na one Akara, that's one Akara uh, go be like say uh, na hundred Akara. Even though say we na have food for house, but that one where your mama bring for you as soon they come back, or your papa bring, he get a, he get one sweetness where they be. Meanwhile, make I move from there, enter Burkina Faso. They say another. Uh, Burkina Faso reports another failed coup attempt. <laughs> uh, they say Burkina Faso don't report another failed coup, uh, coup attempt to uh, be like say all African want, countries uh, want to do coup, coup, coup everywhere because people don't tire for the politicians where we say that they do promise and fail. Uh, waiting politicians they do for this Obodona. They go tell you by the time we enter into the office, you know, some of them know how to speak English. They will say, my good people, <laughs> my good people of social state, I have seen your suffering. I have undergone, I am also a poor man that came from a poor family. I have seen how my people have suffered. And I have been waiting for this wonderful opportunity to be voted into power. And I will be able to change the face of this state into anyone. <laughs> uh, I think they speak that English. You, you, you know, gonna say the change where in one bring go not to sell the state and give una the marine change where man <laughs> after he don't chop the lion share. They say Burkina Faso military junta announced on Wednesday that a coup attempt had been thwarted the previous day by security and intelligence services without providing specifics on what had happened according to multiple reports. In a statement, it declared that officers and others had conspired to destabilize the country with the dark intention of attacking the institution of the Republic and plunging our country into chaos. The junta did not identify anyone but mentioned that some arrests had been made and searches were ongoing for others. It emphasized investigations will help amongst the instigators of this plot. The military prosecutors later revealed that four individuals had been detained and two were currently evading capture. In a statement, it announced that an investigation had been initiated on Wednesday based on credible allegation about a plot against the security and pledging officers. Additionally, the Junta took action on Monday by suspending the French news magazine Join Afrique for publishing untruthful articles that reported tensions and discontent with Burkina Faso's armed forces. Junta leader Captain Ibrahim Tori seized power on September 30, 2022, making the landlocked country second coup in eight months. Both takeovers were partly driven by discontent over failure to contain a 
rampant jihadist insurgency that had infiltrated from neighboring Mali in 2015. Earlier this month, the country's military prosecutor disclosed that three soldiers had been apprehended and formally charged with conspiring against the junta, ruling junta. Based on a tip-off, tip -off, investigators were alerted to the activities of soldiers and former soldiers working intelligence who were conducting surveillance in residence and other locations frequented by prominent figures within the junta, including the Tory. Their objective was to undermine the transitional phase, a term denoting the entering military governance leading up to promised election. Following the assumption of power, military prosecutors in December 2022 also reported on an endeavor to disrupt state institutions. They attributed this effort to civilians and a lieutenant colonel named Emmanuel Zongara. My people, when I don't see, I see they happen. Um, government uh, make when I try to do something good because <laughs> I go the one down the curtain here, and even at the first time we'll be seeing the carry body too. Kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you for listening. God bless you.